One, two, three, do it. Well, hello. Look at you. I got my camera remounted somewhere where I can I can see my uh, my people. <laughs> or at least they can see me. And uh, that's a great option either or a better option. I, whatever. I don't have a mount yet for my handlebars, so so here we are. You're bouncing a little bit. Hopefully the stabilization in GoPro works pretty well. And you down there. No, I won't forget about you. Well, it is good to be back on the bike. Music turned down. Don't let me forget. After a wet, wet week. And as I took a, a little chilly ride into work this morning, but boy. 70 degrees right now. Hardly a cloud in the sky. So I take a little cold in the morning to have a beautiful ride home. <laughs> it's supposed to rain tonight, so I'm not sure how much riding I'll get tomorrow. Who knows? Who knows? Well, welcome. Thank you for stopping by today. My name is Mike. NVA non-value added <laughs> oh it's a long story not really not even a very interesting one but it is what it is non-value added i try i hope everybody is doing well today and has uh, some good plans for some riding this weekend or had had plans for riding this weekend because this probably won't come out till Sunday. Well, before I get rolling on today's little discussion, we went to a concert last weekend. I tell you what, <laughs> it was so awesome. Man, we go to a lot of shows and it has been a long year and a half through all this mess that there was no live music in our area. So one of my favorite acts. Uh, one of my favorite guitars. Oh, gross. Uh, probably my favorite, current favorite guitar player has got a solo, uh, solo gig. And uh, he is touring for the release of his fifth studio album. Yes, I still say album. And to be honest with you, the albums are coming back. My kids. One of my kids has a record. Nothing to play it on. He just wanted it. So it was nice to be back out and get some live music. It was a great show. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get back into some more live music in the area. So this year we did not have any of the long, longer trips that we wanted to uh, to do. Just life got in the way, work got in the way, work uh, work always gets in the way. Wait, that might be changing. I have a couple opportunities coming up, but I, now I just got to decide. I mean, seriously, do I want to stay in Michigan and just hop to another job, or do we want to move out of the state? My wife wants to move out of the state. I, I don't know. I like it here, but I would really like a longer riding season. <sighs> Decisions. So yes, we did not have any of our longer trips. So we've got a couple already planned for next year. We've got some hotels booked. We want to run down, uh, do the Bourbon Trail again. We want to do some Northern Michigan. Uh, I've got to add a tour pack. We have not decided yet how much we're going to trailer the bike. I know that's kind of a, an issue with some. I don't know. I don't know why it would be. 
but I don't have a lot of experience with super long distances yet. So if we want to go down to Kentucky and do some bourbon trail riding around, you know, it makes sense to me. Throw the bike on a trailer, cruise down there in the car, and ride around. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. We'll get there eventually. So if you looked at my saddlebags right now, other than, well, other than my jacket and one right now, they're, they're usually empty. I have a little rain sock that goes over my uh, air filter and a little chin curtain that goes under the bottom of my helmet. That's it. Because honestly, the majority of my riding is just around town. Uh, it's, it's between work and home and uh, we might go to the lake shore. That's only about 40 minutes away. So we're not far from anybody or anything that we, you know, if I, if I did break down on the side of the road, we're not far from anything. And we're not far from home. So I need to add, I need to add some stuff. I need to start carrying some stuff. I mean, there's already a couple things I carry on me all the time, most all the time. That needs to translate to, uh, I need to, I need to add some stuff here. So the first things that come to mind are probably a tire repair kit, something to fix a basic puncture, and maybe just a basic tool kit. Now I will be the first to admit I don't know a lot about working on motorcycles yet. I do basic wrenching on cars, but uh, this thing breaks down, I don't know. I'm not sure what all I could do on the side of the road. I suppose if it was older, or that was more carbureted, um, a little less computer, uh, computer uh, interaction here, I could probably figure it out, but. But, you know, basic tools. So what else? What else do most people carry? I mean, do you keep rain gear in all the time? I suppose on a longer trip, you're planning for a longer trip. Yes, rain gear obviously would be packed because you're gonna, you never know. If you're gonna spend the night somewhere, you never know what you're gonna get. So I mean, stuff like that, but I mean, just, I, I understand the rain gear. Um, but what else? What, what, what do you guys carry? Do you carry every day? I mean, what, whether you're going on a long trip or not, what do you guys carry? Um, I'm trying to find a way to add a, uh, oh, a little, a little, you know, a little holder in one of the saddlebags. Um, I've got a couple thoughts on that, but I haven't, uh, really tested anything yet. Heck, I should be able to talk about it. I'm not monetized, so I'm not going to get demonetized. But anyway. We'll just start the habit now. So, what else? What am I missing? Do I need a little a little air pump? Do I need to add a little air pump? I, I mean, I know I've seen it. Maybe a little jump pack? I probably should do a jump pack. I know I've been looking at those. Um, just to see what the, what's out there. I've seen some people. Uh, you know, of course, like I say, you ask what kind to get, you're probably gonna get as many answers as if you ask somebody what kind of oil they like, or, you know, <laughs> you're gonna get a hundred different opinions. So what are we at here? We got puncture kit, little basic tool kit, jump pack. What else do you guys carry with you everywhere you go? I mean, I have my phone. Those are my thoughts so far. What else? What else should I add? What What do you guys carry with you everywhere you go? Whether you're taking a long trip or not. I mean, what do you guys What do you guys pack? Longer trips, I get it. I'll add rain gear. Uh, obviously, changing clothes and all that jazz. Uh, the essentials for overnight stays. All right, my friends, that is all for today. Hopefully you were able to stick around a little bit towards the end here. And 
and uh, you know, drop me a comment. Leave me, uh, leave me an opinion or what, uh, or leave me an idea of what you guys carry around with you. I gotta put something together. So hope you're staying warm wherever you are. If you're in the northern states, stay warm. If you're in the southern states, stay cool. If you're near an apple orchard, stop by, buy, buy some apples. It's a good time of year. All right, guys, have a great one. Be well. And we'll catch you on the next one. So long. <laughs>